Hey, what is up guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG and in this video guys, I got a deck profile for you and today we're going to be taking a look at a Metagross deck. So yes, Metagross is one of my favorite Pokemon easily in my top 10 and this deck's actually pretty good. Uh, it's one that I have not been able to build for quite some time even though I've really wanted to and I finally got this stuff on here on Pokemon TCG Online to build it to see if I liked it and it's pretty fun. So we're going to go ahead and start off by taking a look at Metagross GX. Of course, it has 250 HP, has the ability Geo System. This is really what lets... Uh, Metagross pretty much kind of flow really easily. Uh, basically what it does is once during your turn you can attach a Psychic or Metal Energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. And so you're going to kind of see how this works because it also has Giga Hammer for 150 for 2 Metal and a Colorless Energy and you can't use Giga Hammer during your next turn. It also has Algorithm GX. You uh, search your deck for up to 5 cards and put them in your hand. This can be really easy if you need to kind of set up your field or if you just need that clutch card for the next turn or just whatever the situation might call for. It is there. But essentially the idea of this deck is to set up multiple Metagross and be able to retreat for 3 energy and then bring up a new Metagross and use Geotech and basically just kind of keep you know cycling through Metagross and that's pretty much the idea and I kind of went for this deck to be able to get like the Metagross set up as fast as possible because if this deck gets set up pretty quickly it is a force to be reckoned with. Um, if I said that right but yes this deck can brick it can have some slow starts so I did everything I absolutely could to make sure that did not happen and we are gonna be running a 434 line of Metagross of course we got the four Beldum three Matang and then of course we did take a look at the three Metagross but another card we're also gonna be running in here is gonna be Necrozma GX so Necrozma GX is actually a really interesting card it actually has really good synergy with Metagross too I might add uh, it has the ability lights in prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from colorless Pokemon so essentially that means that Drampa cannot hit Necrozma, also that applies to uh, Tauros GX, and I guess an Expanded that applies to Rayquaza, so that's pretty cool. It also has Prismatic Burst for 10, and then you can discard all Psychic Energy from this Pokemon, and then this attack does 60 more damage for each card you discarded in this way. So that's really nice because that automatically has synergy with Metagross, and we do run some Psychic Energy in here. I've been kind of experimenting with the energy counts, so that's why that looks kind of weird. But essentially you can just discard all, you know, all your Psychic Energy and then you can hit it for about 190 and if you throw a Choice Band on that's going to be a little extra damage. And the next turn if Necrozma doesn't go down you can just uh, Geotech them all right back on so that's really awesome. Kind of a heavy hitter right here just a surprise card. It also has Black Raid GX this attack does 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon EX and GX which is really nice so if you hit a couple of Pokemon with uh, Giga Hammer then you can just take some cheap easy prizes with Necrozma. This is a very nice card for like the late sweep up game. So that's really cool. We're also going to be running three Tapu Lele GX. Uh, the cool thing about this is we can actually use Tapu Cure with this deck. You heal all damage from two of your bench Pokemon. And the awesome thing is, is like you're going to be pretty much retreating these constantly. I also have some Max Potion in here. And so basically whenever Metagross usually hits the bench, it doesn't have any energy on it. So Max Potion really helps out there. And we also have Tapu Lele's uh, Tapu Cure to heal it. Also, we have the ability Wonder Tag on Tapu Lele, which allows you to search your deck for a supporter card and put it in your hand, which is very nice. And then Energy Drive is going to do 20 for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. And so essentially, the Tapu Lele is in here, so that way you can get that turn one Bridget. I've actually considered putting in two Bridget is an idea that I really wanted to do. Also, it can just allow you to search for any supporter you might need in the current situation. And to finalize the Pokemon, we're going to run two Alolan Vulpix with Beacon. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in your hand. This is really nice if you have like two rare candy or if you have a couple Beldum down you can search for Metagross or you can search for a Tang uh, or if you just have a completely dead hand you can also search for a Tapu Lele guarantee yourself a supporter for the next turn. Uh, Vulpix is really good just because it really helps out your field and allows you to get set up a little easier also you don't have to waste any energy attaching it to Vulpix and most of the time the strategy with this deck is to just you know beacon a few times until Vulpix does go down or you get your field completely set up. And uh, you also have Guzma to kind of retreat it out of the active spot, bring up something that you could possibly hit with Metagross or Necrozma, which is really nice. So yeah, that's going to do it for the Pokemon. This deck's really easy to play, honestly. Uh, you just got to make sure that you're able to cycle through Metagross, get them set up, and make sure to try to get at least three set up. Uh, one big problem, though, is uh, Garbodor really hurts this deck. Garbodor just pretty much shuts down like the main engine of this deck, which is going to be Geotech. And so uh, that's why... Let's see, the Fill Blower is going to be extremely clutch. On top of that, uh, Guzma is something really clutch too. So that's going to do it for the Pokemon. I'm going to get into the supporters and such here in a second. And yeah, because I have to sneeze. <laughs> All 
All right, so starting off, we have four Professor Sycamore. I don't really need to go into much detail on why that's in there. Same with N. Uh, three Guzma, this could be really helpful. Uh, you can just pretty much get out of Giga Hammer's effect. Uh, you know, you can't use it, so that way you can bring it to the active spot. If you're able to promote something, uh, that's really nice. Or you can just retreat it, Guzma, and use um, Geotech to get some energy back on it. So yeah, Guzma's very helpful in this deck too. Uh, we also run Bridget. This is very important for getting your Beldum on the bench as fast as you possibly can. I really honestly considered bumping this up to two. This really seems like a really clutch card you need early on in the game. If it's prized, you could be in some trouble. But Bridget, you search your deck for one basic Pokemon EX, which we don't run in this deck, or three basic Pokemon and put them on your bench. So essentially you can grab uh, three Beldum or two Beldum and a Vulpix or something like that, just whatever you might need. And Bridget's just really good. Uh, another card that I'm trying out is Olivia. You can search your deck for up to two Pokemon GX, reveal them, and put them in your hand. Uh, basically, you can grab uh, two Metagross. You can grab a Metagross and a Necrozma, or you can grab like a Tapu Lele for next turn or something like that. Uh, just a card I'm kind of experimenting with, kind of messing around with, just seeing how I like it. Uh, it's okay, uh, but I feel like maybe this spot could be committed to something else that might be a little more helpful. Uh, I kind of leave that up to you. So, yeah, Olivia is a little helpful, though. I was originally running two Heavy Ball, but I took one out for something else, and I just added in the Olivia. And Skyla is a pretty important supporter here because this can grab you your rare candies. You see right here. On top of that, it can grab Ultra Ball. And so, yeah, just a lot of different things that it can grab. Also, we do run the three choice man in here, so that way you can hit a little extra damage with uh, Giga Hammer. You can hit for about 180. And also, like I mentioned earlier, Necrozma can hit a little harder, and Tapu Lele can hit a little harder, so that's really nice. Uh, the Fill Blower, you discard. All right, choose up to any two in combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play and you discard them. So that means you can get rid of those tools off of Garbodor. So that way Garbotoxin is shut off for the turn. So that way you're able to use your Geotech and get that going. Uh, Max Potion. Most of the time, whenever I play this deck, I usually retreat, pay the three retreat costs, and then I'll Max Potion since it doesn't have any energy back on it. Or you can just Max Potion and put it all back on. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but most of the time, I just retreat because, you know, I can't attack again with Giga Hammer. And so Max Potion is just really in here. So that way... That 250 can really be a force that you have to, your opponent just has to deal with it uh, because if they're not playing fire, this thing's honestly really hard to knock out. Uh, I've faced this deck many times and it's just a pain to get rid of. Also, run Rescue Stretcher. This is really nice because you can just shuffle a Metagross line back in or you can get a Pokemon for your discard pile, put it back in your hand or something like that. I've actually considered probably running a, maybe two or adding in a, like maybe a Super Rod or something. I don't know yet. But the one Rescue Stretcher seems kind of helpful right now. I might change that later. Uh, for Ultra Ball, this is going to be able to grab your Metagross, it's going to be able to grab your Necrozma, or you can grab yourself a Tapu Lele and pretty much turn your uh, Ultra Ball into a guaranteed supporter, which is really nice. Uh, I think that's really honestly about it. Uh, to close out, we run 9 Metal Energy and 4 Psychic Energy. I'm experimenting with the energy right now. That's probably something that you might need to take a look at with this deck. Uh, I'm kind of switching numbers around. Uh, originally, I was doing this as an idea. Uh, this was something I was doing. I took out the Olivia for a 10th uh, metal energy and I ended up taking thinking it back out. So yeah, that's just something I did there. But yeah, uh, pretty much like this deck is really fun. I really enjoy it. So yeah, I decided to share my list with you guys. Sorry it took so long for me to get this deck going. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And again, guys, this deck is very easy to play. All you gotta do is try to get Metagross set up as soon as possible and the deck pretty much plays itself. Uh, it is a pain to play here on Pokemon TCG Online for me personally because I always hit Algorithm GX whenever I'm trying to use Geotech. I don't know why. Just a bad habit I've had. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day. Take care, and this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.